Good morning. How are you all fine folks doing today? We are We are in the US of A. Southbound Highway 25. A screen door has never had that cheap. Just crossed the border. In my place right now, it only cost me a hundred something dollars. Just crossed the border down into the U.S. here. We're just south of Frontier. We're talking about doors. There we go. We're signing out from each other. We're jumping out of the truck. All right, we have a super, super heavy load. Maxed out, maxed out. Like right to the line. So close I went into the scale and weighed myself. I'm like, I'm not gonna rely on my gauges. I'm gonna ask to weigh myself and I'm within a hundred pounds of max weight. Speed limit 55 miles here. I don't take you guys on this highway very often. In fact, I would say this is probably the very first time ever I am bringing a load southbound over this border. I've come down empty this way, and I've come northbound quite often, but southbound, not very often. Uh, we're going to be crossing the Columbia River here shortly, and then uh, drive along uh, Lake Roosevelt, which you guys have seen video of this highway before, but. I think it's always been northbound. So something a little bit different. I like the old, uh, old style, uh, trestled style bridge that we have to go over to get across the Columbia River. This load is going to Deer Park. It's 9.30 in the morning now, and I'll probably get there right around noon. I think the plan is just to boot back empty, unless they find a load in Spokane or something. Boot back up empty and load at Camp Key tomorrow morning. It's about 19 degrees Celsius. I ran the bunk heat last night again. It got pretty chilly overnight. It rained pretty darn hard, so we need the rain. Down into the Columbia Gorge. I'm not sure if they actually call it up here. Is it the Columbia Gorge? Is it the Columbia Valley? Is it... I'm guessing Columbia is in some of the names.
just realized what I forgot. I forgot to move my fifth wheel. Let me cross the border. difference on so uh, this US bridge laws are confusing let's try to so they have these laws so that the further apart your axles are the less weight is on a section of bridge at one time let's go right here before we go over a bridge I don't think you guys will actually see what I'm doing, but just extending the space between my drive axles and my trailer axles. Okay, Let's try to release this. Right. We went the, the wrong way, now we're way too short. We want to go as long as possible. quite there. It's pretty violent. There we go. Lock everything up again. Um, the only difference you guys probably saw is the rear facing cam. Now you can see the front of the trailer before you couldn't. Um, the trailer is further back now on the truck. There's more space between the big rigs, drive axles, and the trailer's axles. There's now more space between them, about a foot more. And that foot gives me an extra 500 pounds I can carry. Because the, the weight on a bridge is spread out further. all the uh, black lines going across the bridge each section of that bridge there's laws on how much weight you can put on each one of those sections so if the trailer and truck are not on the same section ever at the same time you can carry more weight Some states have a fancy chart you can print out and look at. Um, some states you just have to do the equation, do the math. Um, it's complicated. <laughs> You've got to be a mathematician. Once you understand all of it, it's not too bad. Um, but trying to learn it, that was a bit of a learning curve. And those bridge laws all change when that uh, rear drop axle gets dropped too, right? You put that rear axle down, it makes the bridge longer, which means you can carry more weight.
little town. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Look at our rear view mirror. Something port. Something port. Is that the border? Frontier is the border. Sign didn't have. Oh, I see on the GPS the uh, highway beside us is called the Old. Northport Highway. So Northport, town of Northport. sure where the river ends and the lake starts. I guess the river flows right through the lake, so technically the river never ends, but where does the lake start? Is this part of Lake Roosevelt already? So the uh, dash cam that uh, CJ, the super snail, gave me yesterday, is up and running. And yesterday I said it was going to be a low quality video camera. It's, it's 1080p, but it's old. Like it's <laughs> He said he got it at an auction for dirt cheap. As a pair, you got two of them at an auction, dirt cheap. But yeah, it, it, it's probably sat in a warehouse for years. It has the, the connector to charge it. Is that old school uh, USB? Was it the mini or the micro? The big, the bigger, fatter one. The old the. The first one that came after. After I guess US, USB A or USB one. So not 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 the big full size USB. The first small USB connector. So those big fat ones. Well, it was mini back in the days. It's the kind of connector it has. Yeah, and I can't find a really a got stuff falling off the back somehow. Yeah. Something fell. Um, the rear facing cam. Kind of thought maybe put it up on a mirror somewhere, but it's not really waterproof. So there's and it's 
a lot lower quality camera. I'm like, eh, we just won't use that one. We'll run it over here and if something cool happens, we'll throw it into our videos and I'll send it to uh, CJ the Super Snail YouTube channel. Actually, not to his that channel. We'll send it to he does all the editing, but he edits for, uh, what's the other channel? Great North, Drivers of the Great North, something like that. I'll send it to their channel. Beautiful, rustic country, very rustic. But not off grid, they've got power everywhere. You gotta climb over mountains. On this one, you just stay in the valley and, I mean, you go up and down, but nothing like that. It's not a hard, hard climb.
it's an alligator. Trunks of tires. take the shortcut. Might be fun to do. Debating. Just for the sake of showing you guys it? So it is a shortcut. And the chip trucks all take it. Hard climb though. I don't know. I'm indecisive. I am really indecisive. This railroad is active. days a week.
So that train track actually loops into Canada and then back out into the US. So you could take that train up north, cross the border, go through Trail, go through Castlegar, Nelson, and then go along Kootenay Lake down to Creston, from Creston to Eastport, and then from Eastport you could head up to Calgary or south back into the U.S. So. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's hit the shortcut. is a shorter distance. The speed limit is lower and you have to climb a hard climb over here. Don't take the road to save uh, save time. You might save some fuel though. Double solid. Nice.
He has kicked out. Every now and then that catches me off guard. Valley. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I don't know why I complain about that. Carmen, why would I do that? Follow the GPS, folks. Don't follow the GPS. Hey guys, I want to do my uh, shout out to uh, the Southland Group. Um, I'm looking for referral bonuses by doing this, so if you guys ever want to apply for a job anywhere in the Southern Group, talk to me, use me as a reference, I get a bonus, I split it with you 50-50, just go to the uh, Sutherland Group, Sutherland.group slash careers, and uh, look at all the jobs available and if you're interested in any of those uh, give me a call get, or shoot me a message in, in the call yeah there's, you guys don't know my phone number I'm not giving you guys my phone number um, but shoot me a message or email me there, my email is listed down below as well and uh, I can put in a good word for you and tell HR you're coming and if I get a three thousand dollar bonus you get a thousand five hundred dollar bonus uh, currently jobs available, Sutco is uh, Class 1 Residuals, Low Bed, Logging, International. International means 
um, Washington and Idaho. Um, it doesn't mean hiring a bunch of foreign drivers, but we do. That's completely apart from that job position. Um, we hire drivers from Britain, from Jamaica, from Russia, from um, everywhere. Uh, India, Pakistan, we, we got drivers from everywhere. Central America. So if you're interested and you're a foreigner looking for a job in Canada, Satko has contacts to... It's a lot of work to do that, but Satko has contacts to make that uh, a little easier for you. Uh, also hiring payroll coordinator, human resource, business partner, construction project manager, health and safety manager, logistics broker, inside sales representative, a remote transportation broker. A BC Eco Chips, a grinder operator, an excavator operator, and a log scaler. And then we've also got jobs at Summit Truck and Trailer. They're hiring a journeyman heavy duty equipment mobile tech, a journeyman truck and trailer mechanic, tire fitter, and a wash bay attendant. And Hayden uh, is uh, hiring a stone slinger operator, dump truck, and pup driver class one drivers there so anyone interested make sure you use my name as a reference I would really appreciate it and you get a nice bonus Garmin wouldn't keep giving me wrong directions speed limit for big rigs is 40, 40 miles an hour here so a little on the slow side Garmin. I don't know what else I would have done. Not follow your directions, that's for darn sure. I'm not sure why that car waited there that long. I don't see me being faster than them. our fire danger over here got, the, got these signs all over over here but we had rain so I don't see an arrow I don't see an arrow no arrow apparently no fire danger but there has to be it's got to be at least medium so somewhere in the middle the rain probably helped reduce it a bit but it's starting to get pretty dry over here Still have green grass and stuff, so. About 10 miles back to the 
main highway, three US 395. We'll get the whole truck cut into this video. farmland over here all irrigated of course if it's not irrigated it doesn't it doesn't make it through you don't get a harvest it definitely the relaxing drive it's it's slow slow and steady wins the race so yeah it's, it's definitely less kilometers less miles it's just not faster if it is faster in a car it would be faster you have a higher speed limit as long as you don't get caught behind me got the higher speed limit in the car and of course you've got the power to not slow down up the hills we just don't have the juice to go fast up hills work as hard as we can looks like it's a loaded residual truck so probably wood chips going to Selgar irrigating here and right now there's like some kind of ground crop over there maybe some kind of melons it's a mix it's a mix of cucumbers melons and I don't know what else there, there's a bunch of different ground crops there Probably just enough for personal use. passing zones like this here and there on the road but a lot of double solid on here
there's an airplane parked over there. It's like a private airstrip. Nice. It's very nice. I see at least two airplanes. Maybe more. I'm assuming it's a private airstrip. says five miles. It's slow going when you're driving 40 miles per hour. It takes a bit of time. was weird to me. She was sitting on the passenger side, so you would think right-hand drive, but no, the steering wheel is still on the left hand. They've put in pedals on the right-hand side, but the driver has to reach over and drive with the left-hand side. If, if I wanted to do that job, I would buy a right-hand drive vehicle. downhill than it looks.
wasn't expecting to make another long video, but hey, here we are. So we uh, bypassed Kettle Falls doing it this way, and the next town is Colville, but we're going to call it a day over here. Well, the video is long enough as it is, so I'm trying to get hungry too. You know, it's only 10.30, I'm hungry already. It's not good. Pull over and throw some food in. Throw some food into the uh, oven in the back and for turning your signal lights on early. It's literally a mile away. The town's literally a mile away. Okay, we'll enter the town. We will take the bypass around town though, so we're not going to drive through downtown. You can with trucks, but the truck road is the bypass. Avoids all the red lights. Well, not all, but most. Come to Colville.
car, if you just zipper merged, we'd be fine. At least I'd be fine with it. Maybe, maybe it's not acceptable. The U.S. has had a hard time learning how to do zipper merges. Yeah, Canada too. Canada, I think, has rules that you have to zipper merge. They use both lanes to the bottom. I don't know if there are laws that can be enforced, though. I don't know 100%. I know there's some countries that zipper merging, late merging, is law. Take the second exit to US 395. Well, Garmin wants me to go through town. But you see the truck route sign? Yeah, we're gonna take the truck route sign. truck on the truck route. Are they talking about me? They're using VHF. It, it's illegal to do that, but they're using VHF. I've got my bike unplugged. US VHF is illegal to use without a ham radio license. We're allowed to listen in. We're just not allowed to use the, the microphone without a license. We're also not allowed to use the information we hear to be an ambulance chaser, so you can't listen to it and go, oh, there's an accident at such and such a place, run over there and take your photos for your media. So basically media and lawyers can't use it to, and tow truck operators can't use it to show up at scenes of accidents and stuff like that by listening to the radio. truck route. If I go through downtown, that's right behind us. I'm going to leave you guys here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. On your way down to Vargas, there. out of here thank you guys again so much for all your support thank you for uh, those of you that are members and hit that join button down below i am out of here you guys rock <laughs>